Hello! This video will show you how to create a new project in Web Access MCM. Web Access MCM is software where you don't need any coding to use an Advantech DAC card. Let's get started. After you install MCM, you should see the MCM shortcut in the Start menu. Okay, this is the first page you see when you launch Web Access MCM, the login page. You need to set up an identity for utilizing the MCM. We click on Manage and log in as ADV Supervisor, which gives us the greatest power. Fill in the password, then click on OK. So, here your authority is Supervisor, and Management Status has changed. We are going to utilize the machine. Click OK. Here's an existing project that is already in my computer. If I want to start a new one, I just need to click here, Create New Configuration. Now we have an empty project. The first thing to do here is to select a device. This happens to be the only device, a demo device, installed in my computer, so I can only choose this. I can also change the acquisition parameters. What I changed is the sampling rate to 1024 so that I can get a data ready event every second. I can also set the trigger if I want. And in the right column, this is the channel setting. I can set the channel count I want. For example, if I want three channels, I just check the box. Then I can see the plot is refreshed and the data of channel 3 is shown. But in this case, I only want two. I can also change the connection type and the value range. Also, other parameters can be changed if they are available. Click on OK when those are set. And the plot should be refreshed again. It will refresh every time you make a change. Let's go ahead to the next step. This step is time domain preprocessing. I can set the preprocessor in the time domain. For example, I can set a simple one, moving average. And you can see the result has changed slightly. I can set width to 20 and we see a bigger change. I can also set an FIR filter, a high pass filter. You can see the difference here. Let's move on to the next step. This is frequency domain preprocessing. The signal is transformed into frequency domain in this stage, so what you see in the plot is the spectrum. I can give it a window so you can see it's a more informative result. And I can also give it a filter. So you'll see the difference. Let's go ahead to the next one. This is a feature extraction. Now it's empty. There's nothing being extracted. So first click on the channel. There are the available features, magnitude and frequency, in the frequency domain feature. Check a box and it will be added to the list. And then, similarly, channel 2. Check the box. And the values show up here instantly. If I don't like the name, I can rename it.
So, as you see, the name has changed. Also, we can do the same thing for time domain data. In time domain, we provide 13 calculated values for users to choose from. I can add the ones I want. Then go ahead to the next step, action process. In action process, I can enter the formula I want using the value I extracted in the previous step. All the extracted features are listed here that I can use in my formula. Look here. I can add a parameter and give it an operand, frequency not equal to zero, and it would be a Boolean value. I can give it a name, then add the index, and it would give the value instantly. I can also enter another formula, magnitude plus 3 and it's a floating value. Give it a name. And add index. Also, the value is shown here. If I only want to monitor the value without doing any calculation, I just enter the feature. Then, same as the others, name and add index. So, these are what I want and I can go to the next step, output. In Web Access MCM, currently we provide Modbus, and if your card has analog output or digital output available, it can also be set here. Go to the next step. This is the final step to set the display. This is the setting we want to display in measurement control run. I want all of them to be shown on my panel, so I have all of them checked. So I can preview that to see if this is what I want. In the final step, I need to save it. Here are the projects we saved. And we give it a name, Project 1. Save as a project. And there it goes, the project is saved. And then let's go to Measurement Control Run. It takes a little time to load the configuration. Okay, here is the project. You can click on Start to run the project. Hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.